a good game, but we're more focused on Sunday right now. You know, Mario said yesterday that you practiced like third down defense all last week. You know, did you anticipate that you'd get in and, and have such a significant role on defense? Whenever you practice at anything, you gotta be ready to get in. When you, how, what was your just when you were first told that you were gonna be on both sides of the ball? How did you embrace that going into this? Immediately, whenever I hear an opportunity to help the team, I attack it. What were your feelings like when you caught that third down catch to basically simplify the game? Get the first down, first down. It's just stayed in bounds. Bro. Pocket runs about good. But how did it feel? That yeah, didn't feel great. Um, but like I said, uh, it was a great team win. Um, but we're probably going to say right now. What did you work on in the week after Fresno State and your vlogging? Because you, there were a couple blocks that you missed at Fresno State, but against Ohio State, you were one of the best in the field. So you, you always got to go in the crowd. I was working on uh, stand low, good base, good hands. When you were practicing last week, did you anticipate that you would get in? I mean, was that the plan that you were practicing to play? Or were they just practicing you just to get you ready in case you had to be used? Well, for me, whenever I work on something, I, I assume I was going to play. So that's what I was working for. Did you ever anticipate you'd get back on defense? Or whatever, whatever they needed. So like, I knew that obviously I was playing O. And I had a presented opportunity to play D. I took it. So whatever the team needs is what I, where I'm going to be. You got that sack too. I mean, that just must have been an incredible moment for you. Mm. Yeah, super, super, super juice for that. Yeah. <laughs> when was the when was your last sack before that? Right, like two years ago. Two years probably. ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Did you even have like a sack celebration prepared just in case? Well, in that, in that situation, it didn't matter. It was just the game was over, so I just wanted to go celebrate with my team. So how do you go from celebrating a big one like that to like honing back down and getting ready for the rest of the season? Well, I, I mean, 24 hour rule. So we celebrated that day, kind of a little bit Sunday, but yeah, about around 12 o'clock here is on the Stony Brook. When did the coaching staff first present to you the idea of switching them back on the defense? I mean, I'm always in talks with them, whether it's special teams, offense, and defense. Um, so uh, I can't really remember when. It was just kind of one of those things that you're just always aware of. So then when the opportunity presented, I just took it. I don't want to say that you didn't work hard, but I mean, was it easy switching back to a position that you were familiar with? It definitely, definitely comes, still, always still comfortable with it, um, for sure. So it wasn't, it wasn't like something that was super, super taxing on my mind or body or nothing. It was, it was definitely like a, a remembrance to it.